Hello Thrifty Info Mixers and welcome to this shotcut tutorial where I'm going to show you several different ways to get all of these videos right here, multiple videos, into your shotcut timeline here. We are going to make it to where we're going to get all of the videos there into the timeline in numerical order so that you will have them in sequence just the way that you see them here. And I'm going to show you the right way to do this and the wrong way because there is a right way and there is a wrong way and you are going to want to know the difference. Then we're also going to talk a little bit about why do I use this numbering system to edit my videos in Shotcut. Let's talk a little bit about that right now. What I want to show you is what we have here. And the first thing that you'll notice is that my videos start off with the number 20, you can see here, and they go all the way down to number 62. Now, it doesn't matter if you start your videos with number zero or number one or number 100, as long as they're in numerical order. All of these videos are a bunch, a group of videos that I worked on to make this video right here. The reason that I use a numbering system, one of the reasons, there's a couple of reasons. The first one is because they help me keep things in order. I know that video number 20 is my intro video. It's the very beginning. I know that video number 62 is my outro video. It's the end of the video. And it, it just helps me keep things in order. The second reason that I use a numbering system is because video 20 to video 62 turns out to be 43 videos. But what I very quickly realized having 43 videos is that, you know, first of all, computers, they don't really understand English very well. And I would have to, I'd have to add them one at a time to the timeline. And it was very time consuming. And so the thought occurred to me that I needed to name these in a way where I could add them all at one time and it would make my editing a lot easier. Computers understand numbers a lot better than they understand English. Numbers go on forever. You know, the alphabet only goes up to 26 because, you know, there's only 26 letters in the alphabet. And if you have more than 26 videos, like I do here, then I don't know what comes after Z on Linux, sometimes I use Linux, sometimes I use Windows. You know, I don't know what comes after Z on Windows. I don't know what comes after Z on Linux. I don't know what comes after Z on Mac. But with numbers, it doesn't matter if it's you or me or Windows or Linux or Mac. We all speak the same language. We all know what comes after 26 because we're all speaking the same language. The numbers language is universal, and it can go uh, as high as you want. We all know what comes after 1,000. We all know what comes after 1 million. It doesn't matter how many videos you have, and that's why I use the numbering system. And it makes my editing a lot easier that way. Okay, so what I would normally do to add these into the timeline is I would normally hit select all to get those into the timeline. But the problem is I've got these two videos here that are not part of the numbered system. I don't want those in with the videos. So I'm going to just click and unhighlight all of the videos by clicking on this empty space here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hit press the control button on my keyboard and I'm going to highlight this video and this video to select both of those. And then I'm going to go up here and click invert selection. That reverses the selection so that all of these other videos are selected, all the numbered videos. Now that all the numbered videos are selected, I can go ahead and left click my mouse button on any video. And when I left click the mouse button on any one of the videos, I can hold that left mouse button down and drag it to anywhere I want. And when I do that, you'll notice that it says 43 videos. Now, when I let go of the mouse button while I'm in this window, it doesn't do anything because I'm still in the same folder. But when I try to move it to another folder, like say this, like say the documents folder, you can see a little note down there by the mouse that says move to document. So if I were to let go of the mouse right now, it would move all of these videos to the documents folder. Well, I don't want to do that right now. So I'm just going to let go of the mouse while I'm in the same folder. It doesn't matter which one of these videos I click on and hold the mouse on, I can drag it over 
to the timeline, and you notice that the little note down by the mouse, it now says copy. So what it'll do is it'll copy all of the files over to the timeline. And if you notice, it's saying add files and it's now adding the files. But here's the problem, and you can probably already see it. It's starting with the number 54. This is really the wrong way to do it. And this is what I was talking about earlier when I said I'm going to show you the right way and the wrong way to do it. Okay, so the right way to do it is going to be to go over here. Remember, I told you you can click on any one of these files. It doesn't matter if you click on file 52 or file 57. You can drag it. But here's the thing. If you click on file 31 and drag it, it's going to it's going to start from file 31. Whatever file you click on is where it's going to start from. So if you notice right here, it starts from file 31 is where it starts from. So to keep so to get it in numerical order, you want to start from the first file. That's how you get it in numerical sequence is starting from the first file. So you got to make sure you click on that first video to get it in numerical sequence. But if you did want to start from another video, you could start from whatever video you want to start from. But to get it in numerical sequence, you got to start from that first video. If you click on 20 and drag it over, it'll be in numerical s sequence. So now you can see it's in numerical sequence, and that's the right way to do it. But there are other ways to get uh, your videos imported into the timeline. I'm going to show you two other ways. Now, I don't have the toggle, the snapping, so what I would have to do is I'd have to remove this gap here to get it to snap because I didn't have toggle snapping. If I had toggle snapping enabled, that gap wouldn't have been there. But that's no problem because uh, you can just remove the gap. But I'm going to uh, undo the whole thing so I can show you this second way of getting files into the timeline. The second way is dragging them into the playlist. Now, sometimes the playlist might say something else. This window might not be open. The way to get the playlist window open is to click on the playlist icon here. And then the same principle applies. If you start with 31, it'll start with video 31 here. If you start with 20, it'll be in numerical order. It's the same thing. So what you would do is you would grab 20 and bring it over into the playlist, and it'll show up in the playlist. To get it into the timeline, you click on 20 and highlight 20, then hold your shift button down, and then press a down arrow, and then hold the down arrow down, and it'll highlight all of those. Then once all of those are highlighted, you can grab any video. I'm going to grab 58, and then I'm, I'm going to show you one last way. You don't have to have that extra window open. Okay, I'm going to show you one last way to get files into the timeline, multiple files, and making sure that they're in order. And this is probably the easiest way because you don't have to have that extra window open. And the way that you do that is you click on Open File. Well, what I would normally do is I would click on this first video, and I would click on Control-A and select all of them. But you remember, I have those two videos that I don't want into my selection. So Control-A is not going to work in this case. So what I would do is I'd click on that first video to highlight it, and then I would press and hold my shift button, and then just hit down, down, down until all of the videos are selected. Once again, I don't want all my videos selected, so with my shift key still being held down, I'm going to move my arrow key up one time, and that unselects it up to number 60. So I'm going to move my arrow key over one time to get 61, move my arrow key over to the right again to get 62. Now I have all 62 of my videos, so I just click open and that puts them all into the playlist. Uh, once they're into the playlist, you can highlight that first one, hold the shift key down, and then just hold your down arrow key to highlight all of them, and then just drag them all down into the timeline. It'll add them into the timeline in numerical sequence. That's it. So listen, if this video helped you out, if you liked it, and you thought it was uh, helpful to you, then give me a like and a thumbs up and just uh, touch that thumbs up button and make it turn blue and uh, subscribe to the channel. And listen, thank you very much for watching. <laughs>